Hey guys, how's it going? Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. And a lot of you guys have requested me to show my personal settings when I do gaming and when I do movies on this TV. So this is the 2018 Samsung Q7FN. This is a 4K HDR TV with Quantum Dot as well. This is the 55 inch version. So this TV also has a 120 Hertz panel. So if you're looking for something like that, make sure you get the 55 inch model on Samsung because the lower or the smaller version of these TVs, they only come limited to 60 Hertz. All right, so this comes always as well with the 2019 models and I don't know, we're gonna see about the new 2020 models. But guys, for this time, I'm gonna share my, uh, my settings for uh, HDR gaming with uh, HDR and SDR and also with movies. So if you're interested in this, welcome to the channel. I'm Jolster and let's do this. Alright guys, so first I'm going to start with SDR gaming because there are some games that don't support HDR. All right, But before I do that, I also noticed that some of you guys were asking me, hey Jolster, how do you get that display, that window on top that shows the resolution and everything. So basically on your TV, Samsung TV, just go to home button. button. You see the window down below, just scroll down to the left until you reach this window that says source. Now press up and then you just choose whatever option you want, whatever source. In this case, this is the Xbox. And then I press enter button and then just a few seconds, it's going to show up upstairs. So you guys see 30, 40, 21, 60, freezing, 59 hertz, but this is not HDR. Okay, when it shows HDR, it'll say right there HDR. But that's basically how you do this. All right, guys, so let's go over here. Let's go to settings real quick. And then also I wanted to show you guys because I noticed some of, some of you guys uh, cannot get HDR. So in order for you to get HDR first, you need something that supports HDR. In this case, I'm using the Xbox or maybe you have the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4 Pro. And also make sure you have an HDR source like a, like a game or like a movie that supports HDR, that way you, you're going to get that option. But also in your TV, in this case, in this Samsung TV, let's go to general here, and then we're gonna go into external device manager. And then right over here, you notice here's HDMI UHD colors. In 2019 model, it says something different. I think, I think it says input device manager. So you're gonna go into that setting, and this is where you turn on UHD colors or HDR pretty much. So right now I'm using HDMI uh, uh, number two. That's how I have it. Oh, you notice that the little, the little circle right there is turned green. That means it's turned on. If it's turned off, it's going to be like this. So I can just pretty, pretty much turn it on and that's it. This is very important because otherwise you won't be getting 4K60, you won't be getting free scene, you won't be getting all those other really cool features. All right, so now let's go into the picture settings real quick. Let's go into the expert settings. Keep in mind, guys, that these are my own personal settings. You can try them, you can use them, you can modify them, but always, I always say that use the one that works best for you, all right? Also, one more thing. This is the, with a new update. This is a 1290 update, so make sure you use that, you update your TV, and then this is what I'm using. So here is the backlight. Now the backlight this is what uh, the light that is pretty much behind the, the TV. That's what it says, backlight. Now the backlight in SDR, I don't have it all the way up. You guys notice, basically because this TV, it gets really bright. Trust me, this TV gets really bright. But this is an edgely TV. This is not full array. So if you increase the brightness all the way up, especially right here in uh, SDR, uh, you get a lot, you get some blooming. So the black levels are gonna be, are not going to be that black. So you don't wanna get all that blooming in there. So I just keep it in 40, this is my, my choice. Brightness, I just keep it in, in the middle. Brightness, don't increase it, otherwise you add white. Now contrast, this is another thing that actually I'm just gonna modify it a little bit because contrast, you also add a lot of brightness. If you wanna get deeper black levels, I suggest to get maybe like around 40. I feel like it looks, it looks good, all right, Con contrast. Now sharpness, sharpness does add some uh, artificial articles. Sometimes it looks good. For the most part, I don't have it, but 
in SDR with this TV. I feel like level 10 or the value 10 looks good so far. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I didn't notice much of a difference, but trust me with HDR, this is going to be different. I will explain to you that in just a little bit. Color, I like it. My colors to be a little bit saturated, especially when I'm gaming. So I have it in number level 30. Let's go down here. Now local dimming on this TV, like I said, this is an HD TV, so you will notice much of a difference. Now, if you have the Q8FN or Q9 or Q80 or Q70, which those TVs are full array, this is gonna be a different story. But in my case, honestly, I do not notice much of a difference with uh, local dimming. Although I have to say that this TV does have very good contrast, so I like it. Contrast enhancer, I turned this one off uh, if you turn it on, you're going to add like a lot of brighter, a much, much brighter back panel. So you don't want to do that. I feel like off it looks better. It looks natural. It looks clean. I like it. Some people do want to have more brightness in there. But like I said, especially on this TV, you add more like a blooming. So I have it turned off in this case. Color tone. This is totally optional up to you guys. I like it in one one. This is my my favorite color tone white balance I don't touch this I leave it as it is and then over here color space this is very important color space I highly suggest to use native especially with this TV because if you use auto this is more suggested for HDR you're gonna notice the colors get all washed out they don't look as good as if you have native native especially like the blue and the reds they look beautiful in native you guys notice the difference? It is very noticeable, especially in person, it's even more noticeable. So I highly suggest native when you are displaying SDR. When you change to HDR, everything is going to, to change, all these values and settings, but they're going to stay like that. So don't worry if you wanna switch to HDR later on. So that's it. This is pretty much my settings for SDR gaming. Guys, let me tell you, this looks fantastic. We're gonna go into uh, settings. Then I'm using game mode, of course. I always use game mode so I can benefit from the lower input lag options. So here, first on the backlight, I have it all the way up to 50. And the reason being is because I want to take full advantage of HDR and its brightness. So I have it all the way up to 50. Now, this is different. Brightness is different. I don't mess around with this. I just leave it in the middle, which is zero in this case. The reason it being is because if you increase this brightness, all what you're doing is just adding white throughout the whole picture. So everything is going to look washed out. All the colors are not going to look great. So you want to have this at least in the middle. Now contrast, this is something that it's uh, optional, but I do like to have contrast in, the, in level 40, at least because contrast, what, basically what it does is add more brightness it makes the colors brighter or the bright brights and the dark darks it is the, that's what basically contrast does so if i increase it all the way up to 50 then i start see, seeing some blooming especially with this kind of tvs because this is an edgely tv so uh it's not like a full array like the q8 or the q9 and also the local dimming is not that great on this tv so it, this all depends a lot of the contrast and the brighter panel that you have is going to create either blooming or have better black levels. So I like to have a nice uh, something in between. So I feel like level 40 or value 40 works great for me. Now sharpness, this is something that I feel like this new update changed and I think the, they fixed this because before when I removed sharpness, you, the image used to be very soft and kind of, kind of like blurry that's what i mean but i had it in level 10 so now i reduced it to level zero basically i removed this whole sharpness things because it adds a lot of little particles throughout the whole picture let me just show you a little bit of what i'm talking about 
So here, let me show you what happens when you add more sharpness to the already sharp picture. Now this picture is without sharpness. Notice the skin on the characters right here. And I'm going to add sharpness and look, look how badly it gets. <laughs> it just adds so many particles. I mean, they look, they look very old. The skin that you guys see right over here, their faces, all these little details, I'm going to remove sharpness and look how much clear this looks. I mean, of course, this is recorded with this camera. You can't hardly tell uh, the difference right now, but in person, you guys do notice the difference. I'm going to add sharpness again. Here we go. I'm going to remove this sharpness from the TV. It just looks so much clean. You guys can see it's zero sharpness. I'm going to add all this and it's just craziness amount of particles in the whole characters. So that is one of the reasons that I decided to remove sharpness from all, from this moment on. I guess this uh, new update fixed this TV because before it wasn't like that. I remember it will get very soft and you could tell the difference. Even at 10, at value 10, I can still notice particles. So I'm just going to remove everything so now color color i leave it up to 30 it used to be a 25 but personally i like to have a little bit of more saturation in my colors but I'll, as something that i also want to have when i'm playing video games you know when you're doing movies you want to kind of like keep it in the middle have everything more neutral or natural right for this is for gaming so let's go over here to local dimming. Now, local dimming on this TV, guys, is not going to be the best. Uh, I feel like there's not even local dimming, doesn't make any difference at all, as compared if you are using a full array local dimming TV. So I still, even though I have the option, I'm just gonna leave it into high. Now, contrast enhancer, this option is totally uh, up to you, whatever you wanna turn it off or turn it high or low. Honestly, prefer to have it in low what I happens is like if I turn it off, the whole image, it looks a little dimmer. So when you are in a bright room, this doesn't work really good. Maybe when you're in a dark room, that's okay. But when I have it in low, I feel like the, there's a little bit more brightness throughout the whole picture. And also I feel like contrast and black levels look great. When I have it into high, it's a totally different story because now the colors look a little bit more watched out, so I don't like that. I also have my colors to have a little bit of saturation. So to me, the sweet spot is low. That's my personal, my personal uh, preference. Now over here in color tone, I have it in warm one. If you've been following my channel, you know that this is my, my own preference, but you can have it in cool, warm two. Warm one is my personal choice. Let's go over here in gamma. I don't mess around with gamma and then color space. So now, Color space, with, when using HDR, I prefer to use auto automatic. The reason being is because this is this TV, I haven't done any professional calibration on it. So unless you have, then you wanna choose, change this to custom, all right? Custom is when you have all your colors and everything professionally calibrated. If not, choose auto, because this way automatically your TV will adjust depending on what you're watching, in this case, I'm playing a video game and it has HDR. And I believe that's about it. Over here, you can just reset the picture and that's pretty much it. All right guys, so when it comes down to movies, these settings that I use work really good when you're streaming or maybe when you have a physical media. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm using. So in this case, I'm watching The Lion King. Beautiful movie, by the way, right here on Disney Plus, looks beautiful. And then I have the movie mode the movie mode, that's basically what I'm using, the picture movie mode. So let's go in the expert settings. And the reason that I'm using movie mode is because it has the most natural colors, the most well-balanced settings. So uh, that's the reason that I'm using this. And I'll, it's also with HDR. So over here, the backlight, I have it all the way up to 50. I think it looks beautiful in 50. And as I explained to you, brightness, I don't mess around with this one too much. I leave it in the middle. Contrast, it is all the way up. I feel it does look better. It enhances the contrast in here in this movie. Once again, sharpness, I reduce sharpness every time I'm using with HDR. That's the way I have it. 
color so color like I said movie mode is the one that keeps everything in balance so I like to keep it in the middle as well let's go down here so digital clean view this is only when you're watching like a lower resolution uh, movies in this case this is 4k so I turn this off and then also auto motion plus settings so some people like this some people don't like it personally I do like because this is this uh, enhances the picture sharpness and optimize fast moving images some other people they call it the sobo pre effect I honestly I like this so I have this one in auto automatic this is up to you local dimming I do notice that with movies it does make a difference that is the reason that I have it on high and it also makes the picture brighter you guys may notice that right so I do have it in high this is the only way I can see that local dimming does make a difference contrast enhancer I also have this one in high but like I said you can choose to turn it off now this is like my own personal settings so I do like to have it in high but only with movies I don't know for some reason I feel it, look, it does look much better when I have HDR and local contrast enhancer with movies HDR plus mode so this is only good when you have like a, a movie without HDR this is pretty much like a emulated HDR so if you have this mode don't use it if you're using you're watching an HDR movie or an HDR streaming program don't use HDR plus because you're adding like more like fake colors in on top of the native HDR so don't use that one over here color tone same thing I have it in warm one it's totally up to you guys and then in color space in automatic I showed you guys before how this makes a big difference so automatic this is the way to go and that's it guys these are pretty much my settings I don't want to show much on the movies because otherwise I will get a copyright but it looks beautiful trust me this looks excellent so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoy it let me know in the comments below if you have any questions you can try these settings on 2019 models like I said you you may have to do some changes on the on, on your own settings if, but in the end this is what I use hopefully this works for you thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel I'm Jolster and I'll see you guys on the next one Jolster out